Welcome to Revival Cycles Tech Talk. I'm Stefan Hurdle, and today we are talking about the greatest thing to happen to motorcycles since the M unit, and that would be the M unit blue. <laughs> So what is the M unit blue? The M unit blue is the central nervous system for the entire motorcycle. This is the power distribution and control module that will really handle kind of all the functions and features that you need your motorcycle to, to do. Um, it has a separation of all the input controls from all the output power circuits. So that means that the inputs are separate from the outputs. That means all of the handlebar controls and the signals that you send to the M unit have nothing to do with actually transferring the power required to turn on the light, to turn on the starter, or any of those things. It's just basically like a keyboard in a computer. You type on the uh, handlebars and it tells the M unit computer what you want to do and then it turns on the outputs directly. It's a much better arrangement for how to distribute power because on a conventional system, power goes from like the battery through a bunch of connectors to a fuse block and every, every single connection there's a small voltage drop. Whereas with the M unit, you go from the battery to a main fuse directly to the M unit. Then with solid state switching technology, which is virtually lossless, there's no voltage drop, there's no power loss through the switching, it's able to directly turn on and provide power to each individual output. Really cool stuff. But that's really the tip of the iceberg. This has so many features built in, it's really difficult for me to even keep them all in mind to tell you about them. So this has a built-in load independent flasher relay. That doesn't sound like that much, but this works with LEDs, it works with incandescent bulbs, it basically just works. If you plug in a, a turn signal to it, it's gonna flash the turn signal, exactly what you want it to do. It also means you don't have to have a separate one somewhere else in your wiring system. This also has a starter relay built in. That's different than a starter solenoid. If you have a Japanese bike, you'll need to still have the separate starter solenoid. Or if you have a Harley Davidson, that has the solenoid built in. You can power that directly from the M unit. The other thing that's really interesting about the M unit is that all of the controls are digital, meaning when you push a button on the handlebars, it allows multiple functions or different, different um, operations to occur depending on exactly how you push that button. So for example, on the starter, the start button can be used to start the motorcycle, just like normal. It can also be used as a kill switch. By double clicking the start button, like you would double click a mouse on a computer, it'll turn off the power to the ignition system, thereby killing the engine. There's also a lot of configurable and programmable uh, features, so you can change the way that the, the turn signals actually flash. You can add in or modify um, the brake light modulator, which is built in, so you can have it set so that when you hit the brakes, it'll flash three times and then go solid. And there's a bunch of different configurations that are available that you can select from a menu. The coolest part about the M unit Blue is that it also has Bluetooth technology. Maybe that's where the M unit Blue part came from. But with Bluetooth technology, what you're able to do is actually connect and pair with a smartphone. At this point, unfortunately, it's just Android, no provisions for iPhones or Apple products. Sorry, they say it's coming, but no dates, no nothing. So just for now, Androids and that's it. Um, you can pair this with a smartphone and then you can go through and do all the configuration and setup right here on your phone. Much easier than trying to go through and navigate the menus, although that is still an option if you wanna do it the manual way. But far and away, the coolest feature of the new M unit Blue is the keyless go. And what that is, is the ability to just walk up to your bike, press the start button, turn it on, start the bike, ride away, and when you get where you wanna go, double click the start button, shuts the engine off. Double click the start button again, it shuts the bike off. And as you walk away with your phone, once you're out of proximity of the Bluetooth, the M unit will lock, automatically arm the alarm, and if anybody messes with your bike, it'll even send you an alert to your phone letting you know that your bike's been messed with. This is kind of mind-blowing stuff, and I really can't wait to take the time to install this on my own bike. It's probably gonna be a while just because I'm busy working on everybody else's stuff and mine gets on the back burner, but really impressed with how well it works. The tests around the shop have been absolutely flawless. Super, super cool that you're now able to introduce this virtually seamless technology on any bike really that's been that's ever been made so you might have a bmw from the 70s well guess what now you've got wireless technology built into your bike the app that comes along with uh, the new m unit blue is really really well thought out and it's got so many features it's amazing and we're actually going to need to do a different video on that entire app just because there's so much to cover i won't be able to do it in this one 
Also, there are so many features and so many inputs and so many details about what this magic box can actually do. We're gonna have to do another video to get into the full details of that. So really, right now, we just wanted to give you guys a look at what this is, a bit of a gist, an overview of what it does and why you'd be interested in having one. But honestly, there is so much to this. There's nothing else like this on the market. There is nothing like this that's ever existed before. And this represents a complete shift in how you can wire your motorcycle. There's nothing out there that's easier. There's nothing out there that's better. This thing is bulletproof, bombproof. Honestly, this is the coolest thing that has been built for a motorcycle in the last two decades. I mean, other than the engines, but these are great. I really can't say enough about them and you will not be disappointed. If this is the first time you're seeing an M unit, it is as cool as, as, as I'm making it seem. If you've been using one for a while and you're familiar with the V2, go ahead and get the blue because you can direct swap it. It's the same configuration and uh, arrangement. So all your wires should match up. The one thing that is worth noting, and I think this may have been a small uh, oversight on Moto Gadget's part is they did change where the wires come out, meaning they come out towards the top. And a lot of us have been installing these underneath seats and between frame rails, meaning you may not have that vertical height and that could be problematic. But because these connectors can be removed, there may be a way for you to get creative and rework how your connections are done to still fit in that same package volume. I would say it's worth going through that, that headache and hassle if you don't have the room, just because the functionality of the new M unit blue is so much better. With that said, although the M unit blue is so much better, they are still going to be selling the M unit V2. There's a reason for that. This is extremely advanced, extremely impressive, and it's pretty user-friendly, but it is fairly complicated. Maybe you don't want all that extra complication. Maybe you don't want to deal with having uh, wireless connectivity. Maybe you don't want to deal with your smartphone. The V2 is all the um, core features of the M unit blue without the wireless connectivity. And it's just a little bit simpler. And that's a great way to go if you've got an old bike and you just want to get it back on the road. The M unit blue really is everything that they've claimed it to be. And all the tests so far in the shop have shown that it works flawlessly. The app is incredible. The interface is amazing. Um, the keyless go works every time, all the time. I really could not be more impressed with this product. I can't wait to install one. And in fact, I think J63 right behind me is going to be the first, uh, the first donor on this one. So Look forward to uh, seeing what that install actually looks like and how this thing works. Because if you've been watching our videos for any length of time, you know that we use the exact same products that we sell. When you go to RevivalCycles.com, you're looking at the same products that we use to build J63 or any of the other customs that we've built. Because we use the products that we sell, we know how they work and we know how to answer your questions. So if you do run into an issue on your installation, you can email us at tech support at RevivalCycles.com. However, I am getting a ton of emails these days and it's taking quite a bit of time to get back and to get through all of those. After all, I do have a day job. But in the meantime, while you're waiting, you can check out the forums and Google is definitely your friend. If you do find a solution to the problem, let me know and also let everybody else know. This is a community thing. Um, there's a lot of different ways that this can be made to work and there's a lot of different solutions out there. So if you find something that works for you, share it with everybody else. We're all in this together. So. M unit blue, absolutely amazing. Look for us to uh, do a quick install on J63 coming up soon. And with that, thanks for watching.